Brendan, you will continue in Pardubice two more seasons. How can you explain your feeling to continuing here in Dynamo? I'm just really excited to be able to stay in the city for two more years. Um, I like what's going on here. Um, you know, we have a great coach, and that had a lot to do with uh, my decision to stay here, um, as well as the the fans. It's every game, it's like a playoff game, playoff atmosphere. Um, I can't can't explain how much fun it is. I never really had this much fun uh, uh, playing every single game, and and um, you know we have great guys on the team, and I love playing with the with the guys, and and you know they work hard, and and it's uh, it's just a great situation for me, and I'm happy that uh, they wanted me here as well. You are happy, but you wrote on Twitter that the fans stole your heart. <laughs> how how can you say some something more about it? Well, I mean. At, at the start of the season, uh, I don't think it's a secret that we weren't really uh, doing so well. But every single game, the fans came out and they're unbelievable. Um, as well as, uh, I got a shutout and a fan gave me a bottle of wine um, for getting a shutout. Uh, another uh, fan gave me some peanut butter after a game because they know I like peanut butter and just just little things like that. Um, you know, really pushed it over the top for me playing here and it's it's like we're a big family that's what i want to ask that if you are feeling like that you are a important member of our dynamo family with fans with club with everyone i think that uh, everybody in the organization is an important member you know you need everybody to to win and it doesn't matter who you are or what position you play or what your job is uh, we need everybody in the organization to be successful come back to july august you came for tryout and we will see if you can explain your feeling at f during first days in dynamo uh, my feeling in the first days in the anim dynamo was i don't know why it's so hot here it's like 36 degrees and i had to walk from the arena to to the hotel every day and i was sweating the whole time uh that, that was my my feeling about that but um Other than this, I knew that uh, this was a great place to play. Um, you know, I kind of had a, a plan for myself uh, coming into training camp. I just wanted to work hard and, and prove that I, ca I can play here and just take it one step at a time. And, you know, thankfully my teammates played very good when I was in net and um, things just kind of happened for me. During autumn, you got number one goalie. Uh, how important is it for you, for you personally? That like, uh, yeah, I am here. I'm. It's right to be here. Well, um, it doesn't really matter what your position is on the team. You have to do whatever you can do to help the team win and, and be successful. Whether that's working hard, staying out on the ice in practice if you're not playing, and or you know when you're in the net. And obviously, you have to give the team a chance to win. But um, me personally, I always want to be better and I always think I, I always know I can be better so it, every day that's the challenge for me is just to push myself to be a better goalie. You have uh, got a lot of confidence from coaches from people fans from these the players uh, do you feel it like that wow I am important also for from from them. Like I said before I don't <clears throat> I don't think I'm important I think everybody Uh, as a whole, as a as a group, is important, and you need everybody to win, and you need everybody to be successful. And uh, I'm just doing my job. That's all I'm doing. For me, you are number one goalie with working with stick in Czech Extra League. Where do you learn uh, to play the third defender? Uh, actually, when I was younger, uh, my dad told me that I have to do this um, because I was pretty strong and I could shoot the puck. And my dad told me to, to keep doing it, even though sometimes I would give the puck to the other team and they would score. But my dad said, just just keep doing it. If the coaches don't like it, just keep doing it because one day it's it's going to be good for you. And also, uh, when I was younger, one of my favorite goalies to watch was Marty Turco, and he was one of the best goalies at uh, playing the puck. So I kind of uh, watched the game and, and watched some plays that he would make and, and try to do it myself. Um, but... <clears throat> regarding that it has a lot to do with your defense and your forwards and you know they've been great getting open for me and and taking passes so it without them then you know me playing the puck doesn't really do anything they're really the guys who make the great plays do you have to communicate more with the players during playing your stick like right left 
Uh, no, they kind of talk to me and tell me what's going on, but at the, at the end of the day, it's, it's my choice um, what decision I'm going to make because if I make the wrong decision, it's my fault. If I make the right decision, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, that's how it's supposed to be. So I, at the end of the day, I kind of keep it in my hands and, you know, I can't fully trust what people are saying because maybe the other team's telling you stuff too. But uh, for the most part, our guys have been uh, terrific at uh, helping me out when I'm out playing the puck. Dynamo is right now on the 11th, 12th position, but you are the fourth best goalie in saving percentage. How important is it for you or it's more important that Dynamo is not as good as you expect or as the fans expect? I think the most important thing is just making the playoffs. Individual stats don't mean a thing. Um, we just have to win games and get three points. That's our goal. Uh, as you said, you are. Uh, we are five points uh, behind playoffs. How important is Wednesday's game against Zlín because it's the beginning game of next series of games? Every game's important. Uh, doesn't matter who, who we're playing or what it is, but you know, practice leading up to the game, maybe these next two days here, that's just as important. Making sure that we're crisp on the ice and uh, having good passes, good shots, uh, doing all the right things that, that, you know, so when we get to the game, it's just easy for us and it's we don't have to think too much. Um, but every game is important. Every game is worth three points and it doesn't matter who we're playing. At the beginning of interview, you said that you we have a great coach. How is it? How is he working with a team to make playoffs? Well, Mr. Dry Seidel is uh, he's just a teacher. He teaches the game of hockey. Um, he's really great with the guys. We have video every day. He makes sure we, we break down everything, and guys can see good plays we do, and also the mistakes we make, so we can learn from them. Um, and on the ice, he expects us to work hard. In the game, he expects us to make the right decisions and practice as well, make right decisions and work hard so that um, everything is natural. And he's just, uh, he's been awesome. I can't say enough about him. Um, you know, the <laughs> I've only had one coach uh, as good as him, and he's uh, coaching the New Jersey Devils now. So his name's John Hines, and uh, Mr. Dreisaitl has just been unbelievable. And I love playing for him, and I know the guys love playing for him too. Nice sentences from you. When we win the game, you make some show. Uh, if you plan it, or if it's like, oh, I will make it. I honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I just, as long as I make the fans laugh or cheer or something, then uh, I go home happy. But I, when we started winning more games at home, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of confused on what I was going to do. So uh, it kind of, it just happens when. You know, I'm on the ice and I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'll do this. This is different. I I don't really want to do the same thing all the time. Diving in the net, I guess that's kind of my signature. But after that, when they call me back, I try to think of something different. Uh, it's getting hard. So I mean, if anybody has suggestions, let me know. We were talking about your selfie, but it's behind us. But one unbelievable game derby against Radetz. We won three to two. If you can say some comments about this game because it was very important and for our fans also because we won in sold out arena. Like I said, I think that all goes back to uh, Mr. Dreisaitl and uh, how he had our team playing. You know, we played with a lot more confidence that game. Um, you know, we were down 2-1 and we just kept playing, kept playing the same way, kept pushing and pushing and pushing and there was a belief in the dressing room that we'd come back and and we'd score some goals and then at the end of the game I think everybody believed in each other that we would defend the lead and, and we did that and it was just great it was awesome finally to beat them um, I think our, our fans deserve that for sure because they like I said they come out every game and cheer so loud for us and um, they sometimes work as hard as we do and uh, it was just great for them and I'm really happy that they got to see that. Back to you personally, uh, you are keeping contact with fans, Twitter, uh, that you are answering all mentions to the fans. How important is contact with fans for you? Yeah, I try to, I try to answer as many as I can. Uh, I know sometimes I, I don't get to everybody, but um, that's really important to keep good communication between, uh, I think, the players and the fans, because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. Um, 
and they're the ones that come out and and you know give us that extra boost every game to uh, be better and and to you know maybe if we need a goal to to get that goal or if we need to defend the goal and maybe block a shot or or, or get the puck down the ice or, or something you know and this season i think it just goes to show that the reputation that the fans and party beats they had is is uh I think uh, I think it's better than what I've been told. So it's it was been a lot of fun so far. When we were speaking together, you told me that you are using public transport. And my question is, if some people say hello to you because you are more and more uh, famous here in Pardubice, or still not? Uh, not so much. A uh, couple people I've I've said hello to, but uh, I mean. When I'm on the bus, I normally have my music on or something. I'm not really paying attention or I'm tired after practice. Uh, so um, I think more in, in the mall and, and, and uh, around town, I, you know, I get a wave. I think the kids the kids know more about me. I was out for a walk in, in Dubina before one of our games, and uh, some kids want to take pictures with me. I was surprised by this, but uh, of course, if anybody wants to do that, it's no problem. What about Czech language? I know it's very, very complicated, but are you just trying to learn some basic words? At the moment, um, I can speak very, very, very basic, but in the dressing room and around town uh, and restaurants, I can understand, I wouldn't say most of the things, but a good amount of what people are saying. And I think reading is the easiest part for me because I can recognize the words and And um, at the, the grocery store, I can I know what everything is. I know what I'm eating, but um, and I can order at a restaurant. I know what the food is, but for me, it's, it's a very different language compared to English. And also, you know, I speak a little French, not a whole lot, but a little French, and it's very different than French, and also different than, than Spanish, which I also know a little bit of. But uh, when I played in Sweden, Sweden Swedish was a lot easier to pick up. Uh, the words are kind of similar to English, and they kind of the way they're spelled that's how they sound uh here it's the it's very difficult so anybody that can speak czech uh they're a lot smarter than i am that's for sure what about uh, na your neighbors novaks in at uh, your apartment are they still there and are you together some uh, evenings yeah they're still there um uh, not much i think we say hello every now and then but i went and watched uh the little goalie practice uh he's actually unbelievable um I was surprised how good he is. He is, I couldn't believe it. I, when I was his age, I was nowhere close to as good as him. Uh, he, he reminds me a lot of Jonathan Quick. He's, I was, I was just amazed by how, how good of a goalie he is. I know he'll play here one day for sure. Last theme, uh, your mom and daddy uh, were here two months ago. You signed a new contract. So if you expect that you you can invite your parents more to be some days or some weeks in Pardubice. Yeah, that was kind of the first thing they said. I, they said, I hope that uh, you're ready to come. You're ready for us to come visit again. Um, <laughs> whether I'm ready or not, they, they're going to be coming. Um, and I, they they really loved it here. Uh, they All they kept telling me was uh, how great, this, how lucky I am and how great our city is. And, and obviously, you know, they loved Prague too, going to visit there and they got to visit Vienna. So, um Hopefully next time we win a couple more games when they're here.